Um, do, does anyone know what foreknowledge is? People here? <coughs> What's foreknowledge? You said foreknowledge? Foreknowledge. Four like knowledge. Like number? Or F-O-R-E. Like B-4. Like B four. Four. Read it one more time. Foreknowledge. I didn't know. Is it in a sentence? Please. H him being delivered by the determined purpose and foreknowledge of God. You take it's it. Out, it's exactly what it's it is. Like. Okay. It's about okay. okay, yeah. It's just what it is. Okay, so what's the... He's like, God already knew what was going to happen. Or knowledge. He already had the knowledge of it before it right. happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, and, and so that's... So when it's talking about Jesus, how, how Jesus was able to be strengthened throughout his crucifixion was his foreknowledge of God. He knew what the prophecy said. And so that is that that's what allowed him to have that victory. Okay, so um huh. and these lawless hands, these sinners killed our Messiah. Mm -hmm. But hallelujah, because he's greater. He resurrected. Uh -huh. Um, whom God raised up having loosed the pains of death. Because it was not possible that he should be held by it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If death is beneath him, then why are we anxious for anything? For David says concerning him. So now, so now from verse 25 to 28, now this is going to be talking about um, the Psalms. Okay. So this is, again, another call back to the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is King David. All right. Um, King David predicted the resurrection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is at my right hand, that I may not be shaken. Therefore, my heart rejoiced and my tongue was glad. Moreover, my flesh also will rest in hope, for you will not leave my soul in Hades, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of joy in your presence. So the Psalms are actually David seeing visions of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And every single prophet all knew that Jesus was going to be born. Mm -hmm. Their faith, it did not just come from what God said. It came from the fact that they knew a Messiah was going to come forth. They knew at one point. A son of God will be born and he will die for my sins. So no, everybody know that David knew Jesus was going to come forward. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Elijah, Elisha, Moses, everyone. That is that that is what kept their faith. Like even when even when Abraham sacrificed his son, he knew that the Messiah had to come forth. So that it, and, and that the Messiah was gonna come out of his son. So that's why he was willing to do that because he was like, it's impossible that my son will stay dead because the Messiah has to be born. So either I'm going to sacrifice my son and then, and then God is going to resurrect my son mm -hmm. or I'm not going to have to sacrifice my son. So I know my son will live no matter what because I know Jesus will be born. Mm -hmm. So that's why Abraham had faith. Everyone's faith is rooted in the Messiah, not just little ideas that they had in their head.